Hi there, we're at the Waring Commercial Booth uh, demonstrating our waffle cone maker. Brings you back to your childhood, getting that sugar cone or the, or the nice waffle cone from the boardwalk. You could make a homemade batter. We actually just used a, a store-bought batter. We used our MX Prep Blender to go ahead and make it. We started with water, added on the really slow, adjustable um, uh, speed, turned it on, and then added the powder to that. So that was able to incorporate everything. Pour in about a quarter cup of liquid just like that. You go smaller or larger, close it up, turn. I'm gonna go ahead, hit the start button here. And in about a minute, we're gonna get a, a audible beep telling us that it's done. There we have it. Now this tool here, this is what makes it all happen. You slide it underneath. The cone has little teeth where it's gonna be able to grab the cone. And you just twirl. And you let it set. Great for frozen yogurt, ice cream. Um, I actually did it in a savory concept where I made little tiny Parmesan cheese cups. So this is just regular Parmesan Reggiano that we bought in a wedge, cut it down. We actually uh, grated it in our blender, in our MX blender. So I'm just talking about a tablespoon, going to go right on, going to flatten it out, just close it up. This doesn't even need to run through a full cycle, just 20 seconds or less. Just like that, roll it up, again let it sit for a few seconds. There you have a delicious Parmesan cheese cone, I'm going to go ahead and stuff it with a little mozzarella and diced tomato, some basil, olive oil. Great little finger food for uh, appetizers. When this got presented to me at one of our last shows, I was like, Let's, let me try a Parmesan cheese cone. And it's also a great uh, gluten-free option for the people out there.